Hi Coopers, welcome back to this week's Good News Network. I'm Olivia and Kehlani, why are you crying? I'm so sad. It's the last Good News Network of the year. Oh my gosh, that's right. You just reminded me. It's so crazy how fast this school year went by. It all, it seems just gone in the blink of an eye. I know, it went by so fast, especially with us being on computers most of the time. But I am really looking forward to next year and finally getting to see all of your guys' beautiful faces in person and not on a screen. So that's something that's really exciting. Yeah, but let's not reminisce on the future because we still have one last Good News Network for you guys. And in this week's Good News Network, we have one last Connor segment. We have teacher shout outs. We have a community service announcement and make sure to stick till the very end because we have one last special surprise for you guys. Without further ado, we cannot wait to see what Connor has brewing up for this week. So hit it, Connor. Hi, Cougars. So I know the end of the year is coming up, which means finals are soon. So I just wanted to give you guys a few study tips for your upcoming tests. Okay, so the first study tip is start early. Make sure you guys start sitting early so you're not cramming in at the last minute trying to get all the information. You're well prepared, been studying for a couple weeks. That way you're just ready for the time when the test comes around. The second thing is join a study group or study with your friends. I know studying with people is a lot more fun and can sometimes be easier because it kind of shows what you know, what other people know, and you guys can talk and discuss about the subject. The third study tip is make sure you get tons of sleep because I know oftentimes you try and cram late at night and then we end up not getting enough sleep, but getting sleep helps us remember things for the test to so make sure we're getting lots of sleep before in the couple days before the tests. Um, the fourth study tip is try to explain things to people. I know teaching other people about the subject actually helps you remember the subject. And then lastly, the last study tip I have is just try not to stress too much about it. Just make sure you're well prepared, you get enough sleep, do all the other things I talked about, and just kind of go in with a confident, clear mind and know you guys can do super well on all these tests. So hope that helps and I will talk to you guys later. Bye Cougars. Good morning Cougars. I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude towards the teachers and staff. Teachers and staff, thank you. Thank you for a wonderful year. Not only are you guys willing to teach us every day, you guys are willing to put up with us every day, which is quite major, you know? So, thank you. Wow, Connor, that was a great Connor segment to end off with. Thank you so much, and I'm really gonna hold that one near and dear to my heart for when I'm not getting those every week over the summer. Speaking of summer, Kilani, do you have any summer plans going on? You know, I do not. I know I'm going to be working, but I'm just excited to get some time off to relax and rejuvenate and all that good stuff. Do you, Olivia? I don't have any plans currently, but I did get vaccinated, so that'll definitely open some doors up for me if I want to plan anything. That is very true. Another reminder, Cougars. Um, Vaccines are now open to 12 to 15 year olds, so if you have not already, get your vaccine. But to get back on track, this is the Good News Network. So, Kehlani, do you have any good news for me? I do, in fact. Um, Half Moon Bay is organizing a Red Cross blood drive to collect blood and donate them to those in need because due to the pandemic, there has been a blood donation shortage. So that is very cool and exciting. Do you have any global good news for us, Olivia? I do, Kehlani. Recently, there was a concert held and they raised $304 million going towards 29 million vaccines for those who need vaccines. That is 
great. It's so nice to hear the world doing kind acts and stepping up to help people. Yeah, it really is. Speaking of standing up and helping others, how have you done um, any community service? Do you know how many hours you have? I have no clue how many hours I have, but I definitely need more if I want to graduate. And I know a lot of other cougars are in the same position as you. So to get more information about some upcoming community service and some opportunities that you can do either before the school year or in summer, we have Emily who will tell us all about that. Sounds great because I know I really need some community service opportunities. So hit it, Emily. Hey seniors, please make sure to turn in your form showing your completed 35 hours of community service by tomorrow, Friday, May 21st. Once you've turned it in, you'll be invited to attend a party at the flagpole next Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m. There you can receive a certificate signed by the mayor of Half Moon Bay, and you could also take a picture with Kugi or eat a big delicious cookie. Don't worry if you haven't completed your hours, there's several opportunities in your loot mail. You could go to beach cleanups or you could volunteer at the Half Moon Bay Yacht Club and help prepare boats for the summer. Also, if you finish your hours this weekend, feel free to take them next Tuesday to the party to get them turned in. Please fill out the form in your loop mail about the prom court nominations. It is due by the end of today. Hey seniors, little reminder, make sure you buy your tickets for the senior formal before May 28th. Um, you can buy them using the website down below or if you go on to the Instagram page at Senior Formal HMB 2021, and you can buy your tickets there. Bye, Cougars. Hey, Cougars. In honor of the school year ending, we're going to ask some seniors some wisdom that they would like to pass down to the younger grades. We're just going to pull some seniors aside and hear what they have to say. Hey, Cougars. We're here with Caroline. And so what's your advice to the students at Half Day High School? Um, I would say don't stress too much, just enjoy the experience because it's going to be over before you know. I'm here with Danielle and what is some wisdom or advice that you have? Um, probably just do as much as you can, like go to all the games and dances, don't take advantage of your time here. Hi viewers, I'm here with Natalie and we're going to see what she has to say. I would tell students that not to procrastinate because teachers always send homework in like clubs and if you procrastinate you won't get it done and it's just it's a bunch of stuff so don't procrastinate. I'm here with Kai and Noah and that's what they have to say. Um, get out of your comfort zone and try to get involved as much as possible. I'd say don't ever let anything bog you down too much. Uh, just go with the flow of things and always just be relaxed about everything. Thank you, seniors. We're going to miss you. Leadership is going to miss you over the summer, and that's going to make it quite a bummer. But don't let that cause you any tears, because next year is going to be our year. We hope you have lots of fun and soak up lots of sun. Have a happy summer, cougars, and make sure you are a kind doer. Finish the last two weeks of school with a bang and make sure to feel your brain so you don't go insane. One, happy summer, from leadership.